Hi members, I think we're back. Can you give me the thumbs up if you can see me please? a little bit of a technical issue i'm trying to watch the video live on the ipad so that i can answer your questions at the same time this is a bit of a um, milestone for me so please comment if you can see me I'm a little bit of a delayed reaction we are live now Give you a few minutes to jump on if anyone's watching. Anyone there? I'll delete the old one so you can all see the new one. Are we there? Just going to make sure that people are there and watching before I get started. Can you give me some hands up if you can see me please? Oh, I think I've got some comments. Right, Lindsay, hi. Ola, hi. Kate, Rachel, Sue, Anne, Wallace, Tara. Sandra, oh, I think I've got some comments. Nicole, Denise, hi. Oh, it is a bit of a delay, so I can hear myself speaking hi. on the video Lindsay, as well hi. as doing it on oh, my phone. Okay. So it's a bit, Rachel, Sue, bit difficult. I'm going to move Wallace, it. Tara, Sandra, oh, I think I've got some comments. You might hear it in the background, hi. so it's a bit off-putting. Oh, it is a bit of a delay, so I can hear myself speaking on the video Lindsay, as well hi. as doing it on my phone. So it's a bit, Rachel, Sue, bit difficult. I'm going to move it. Wish I could turn the sound down. Let me find the sound. Hang on. I've got a new iPad and I can't work the blimmin' thing. So, sounds. Ringer alert. Ringer sent. How do you turn the sound down on an iPad? So I'm just going to turn it off if that's a problem. If I expand you and turn the sound down on my main screen computer, that might be better. And if I turn that around, because I work from a huge computer, so you can see, and I can see the comments. Button on the top at the side. Kelly, no, it don't work. I've got to go into settings, so I've turned my iPad off. I'm just using the computer screen instead. So you should be able to see a pile of t-shirts in front of you. Is that correct? Thumbs up, everyone. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I really should have looked into this before doing it, shouldn't I? You might hear it in the background, so it's a bit off-putting. Yeah, I found the volume. I can do it. Right, now I can see you all. And there's the hands. Good morning, everybody. Let's get started. Lots of thumbs up. I want lots of questions, okay? Right, T-shirts. T-shirts seem to be a big no-no for a lot of you when in actual fact it should be your go-to product and it should be your bread and butter. You are 
whether you're running a small business or for personal use, T-shirts are the number one product that you should be pushing. I've been doing T-shirts now for 13 years of my 15 to 17 year business. Um, I had a bit of a break when I had a personal tragedy. So um, I started off doing T-shirts with transfers and I didn't know anything about sublimation at all. And for transfers, we have always used <clears throat> the highest quality transfer paper that you can get in my eyes, which is Jet Pro, it's called, uh, yeah, Jet Pro Soft Stretch. And it is like, something like principal vinyl. Um, <clears throat> it's always been my go-to product. And if you're um, pressing it onto 100% cotton t-shirts and they're white, all you need to do is cut around the design roughly because it adheres to the fabric and um, it blends in basically and it stretches with the cotton fabric. Now you can get this for dark products as well and that's when you need your Cricut cutters or your silhouette cutters to cut round your image to peel it off and then stick it on like heat transfer vinyl so we're actually branching out into sell this stuff um along as you'll see on the website we've got a nice range of 100 percent cotton goods coming in for heat transfer vinyl and transfers so um please keep your eye on the products they're extremely good quality from very well-known manufacturers and the consistency in sizes and colours will be very accurate because I'm not bouncing from one supplier to the, ne to the next sort of thing. But today we're going to go over basic t-shirt printing, pressing. My press is heating up. People say that they don't like 100% polyester t-shirts because they don't feel the same as cotton well that's blooming obvious they're polyester not cotton aren't they but you can't sublimate on a hundred percent cotton unless you use some of these products that they advertise like sprays and um paint on liquids and things like that well you know if it's for a child i wouldn't even go there i would use what is what the manufacturers tell you to use um for safety aspects um or whatever i wouldn't want to spray something on a t-shirt or a product if it's going anywhere near a child to be honest but also with sublimation it's supposed to be 100 percent polyester or 100 percent polyester coated like your mugs and plates and other substrates but you are able to sublimate on a cotton poly mix now the usual mix is 65% polyester, 35% cotton, as in the label. What this means is, when you're sublimating on 100% polyester, you will get 100% good results. 100% polyester. You will get the best results. Anything less than 100% polyester is going to be less than perfect so if you've got 35 percent blend of cotton in your goods the actual print is going to come out 35 percent less than perfect that's about as simple as i can make it for you the um anyone posted any questions i hope i've got someone watching can you give me thumbs up everybody there is a delay um Yes, yeah, so today I'm going to show you what the results are like on a cotton blend polyester t-shirt which are more readily available and cheaper but the results are not as good as the 100% polyester ones. Thank you, thank you. Are you all with me so far? You understand the bit about the polyester blended products. They're not going to print you the best image as 100% polyester products. Um, <clears throat> the t-shirts that we've got for sale on the website are 100% polyester 
and they are made specifically for sublimation. Now they are not the top of the range. Top of the range polyester t-shirts can cost upwards of five or six pounds. And if they're for kids, you're just not gonna pay it. But on the other hand, polyester t-shirts can go right down to 90, um, percent, 90 GSM, which are just like rags. And what you're looking for in the quality of a t-shirt when you buy it is the GSM. That's the weight on it. And that means GSM grams per metre in the manufacturing process. It's basically the same in any fabric. You know, the higher GSM, the better quality the t-shirt. So when reading the label, if something, if you're looking for a t-shirt and the label reads 90%, um, 90% GSM, that means it's 90 grams per metre of fibres that are actually in that fabric. So if it goes up to 210 grams, that's a really good t-shirt and the thickness of it. It can go higher than that, but so can the price. So we found one that we've been using for a couple of years now, which is why we've decided to sell them on to um, small sale businesses at wholesale prices um, they are actually rated at 180 GSM now a lot of you have bought them already um, we're knocking them out the turnover is incredible um, there is a lot of interest in this product because they're sized they're readily available and you do not have to buy them in massive quantities like you do from a, um, a wholesaler so 180 GSM t-shirt is good quality and i have them in front of me let's move the cotton one out of the way um they are not see-through they are not the top of the range certainly not the bottom of the range and what impresses me is they've got side seams on a lot of t-shirts they're ring spun <clears throat> and they haven't got side seams they're um, manufactured on a tube so when you press them and send them off they're lovely but they go through the wash once come out and they're twisted like that you'll find this with a lot of cotton t-shirts as well side seams are a good thing to look at in a t-shirt also they haven't got the label on the neck they have the label in the side and it is a clear label that has the age, the size, washing instructions, polyester and everything you need to know. Wash as synthetics, wash dark colours separately, reshape by damp, do not tumble dry. It's exactly the same as what you get from any 100% cotton t-shirt. You can put your own labels in these as well. The size is really good. The give is good. They're lovely and white. And I've been using these, like I say, for a couple of years. We've tried a lot of other fabrics, T-shirts, a lot of other manufacturers' um, products. But we keep coming back to this one because it's middle of the road. And let's face it, for a child, you do not want to spend out a fortune. Parents do not. All right, Tara, yeah, it is a good point. Um, I'm trying to hit on things that might be beneficial to you. So anyone that wants to add a question underneath, I'm trying to go through them. I've got some bullet points that I've listed. Um, <clears throat> right, yeah, um, as I was saying, you, back to your product. You need to be producing these T-shirts for birthdays. And that is going to be your biggest money spinner. Um, knock out a few birthday designs. All kids love to see their T-shirt on it. Uh, name on the t-shirt and all kids love to see something that they love on a t-shirt okay so i've produced a couple of designs that i've been using for years and you know it's back to the old unicorns i'm afraid because little girls love them bright colors and i'm going to print the design on the 100 percent polyester t-shirt and the 65 35 mix t-shirt so that you can see the difference in the print and what it means to have the proper goods okay um these are not going to be giveaways unfortunately because they are for my niece for her, uh, my granddaughter for her seventh birthday little Haley, and my great niece for easter 
So the designs will be on sale later, but um, <clears throat> the press is ready. So we are going to do the um, age seven one at the moment. This is an age seven to eight because my granddaughter is going to be seven. Hi, Diane. What brand are these? They are... Do you know, let me find the label. Vanilla. Vanilla are really good t-shirts. Um, what was I saying? Uh, you do need to use Teflon sheet or paper in between because you will get shadowing that comes through on the opposite side and you do not want that to happen. Okay, so you can pre-press for 10 seconds. We're going to go over to the press now and I'm going to press both of them. I'm going to do the um, polyester one first and then I'm going to do the cotton mix one, which feels thicker and it's nice. But you, I think you'll be surprised. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, so over to the press. We go, get a bit closer so that you can see. You're not going to see me. Right, we have got H7 to 8 in the press. 10 second pre-press. Now this is going at 180 for 50 seconds. Manufacturers say 200, but I actually think, actually we want 190, which is just about right. I think 200 is much, much too hot. You get scorch marks. And a lot of people are worried about press lines now having a teflon sheet in between rather than a piece of paper does help it really does as i said i've been doing t-shirts for years and doesn't bother me press lines at all you can get teflon sheets on the website two for ten pound or we do the pressing pillows so and you cut your teflon sheet to fit your t-shirt basically so it gives you good coverage, it, side to side, just like that, okay? So now we're going to put the transfer on. Transfer was printed out on A3 paper, and as you can see, you can line this up really well, okay? That's the sort of size you want. You want it, um, there's no taping or anything like that. They're pretty square t-shirts. As a rule of thumb, I go just below the neckband, and you can see yourself how central it is. So we will face down. We'll hold in place, clean blowout paper. Now you must have a Teflon sheet in between, failing that paper, but you will find that putting paper in between the t-shirt is hard work. Teflon sheets slide in and out really, really easily. So while that's pressing, I'm just gonna see if you've put anything on. Right, just join. Tara, could you do a walkthrough on sublimation on glitter? I don't know what you mean, mate. Sublimation on glitter. We do mock-up glitter on designing, if that's what you mean. I print them out all the time. I, I make names and I fill it with glitter paper and print it out so it looks like glitter, but it's never going to be raised or the real thing. You just have to tell your customers that it's faux glitter, it's ink, it's printed. I don't touch the printable vinyl, so I wouldn't like to comment on that one. Right, first one's done. Okay. Colours are so vibrant on this. Take it out, snap it. Snap it means shake it while it's hot. Give it some shake. Right, that one is done. But now I'm going to print the same design, which is exactly the same design, on the cotton mix t-shirt i'm going to pre pre-press that for 10 seconds the design is identical okay <clears throat> teflon sheet will be too big for that one so i've got my smaller teflon sheet i have different sizes hanging up and different size pillows for everything you can't go wrong pressure is everything even pressure okay so um and then we've got one more to press, which is the Easter design that I've just done 
for my little great niece which will also be on sale in the shop later but t-shirts you know you really should give it a go don't be scared if you're buying these for 275 each you sh oh i put that on for full press oh, i'm so sorry see i do make cock-ups no one shouted at me right shake that out Put, and also, the polyester t-shirts seem to keep their shape more. You know, I've never had a complaint. Might have done on my work, on my print, um, if I've made a spelling mistake or something. But never had a, had a, mis um, a complaint of the quality of the t-shirt. Right, this design is sized wrong because it's a smaller t-shirt. I just wanted to show you what the quality is like when it comes out. So, but you can see what well, that's waiting. The colours are so vibrant on this T-shirt. And can you see press lines? No. There is no press lines on that at all. So I really don't understand why people say they have such an issue with press lines. I've been doing this for a long time and I don't seem to have that issue at all. Perhaps if you post your questions, how you, or the way you do things, I'll be able to answer. Uh, you keep disappearing. That's you, Chris, not me. I'm guessing they will look okay. A4 is the size I can't. You can do it on A4. There's nothing to stop you doing t-shirt prints on A4. Right, okay, that's done. Now, we're going to go over that in a minute. I'm just going to print my final design so that I can turn my press off. This is a five to six. Ten minute pre-press. There we go. And then put my design on. Line it up. So easy to do. If you're scared about lining it up, do what I've showed you in the past. Pinch top and bottom to get your centre. But going with an A3, this is dead square <clears throat> on the width of this T-shirt. If you're going on a 2 to 3 T-shirt, you could indeed just do that on A4 paper. It wouldn't be a problem. No, it doesn't get the ink on the Teflon, Teflon sheet because it's inside the T-shirt never had an issue but it does block it and you know if you get a bit of shadow on the inside of the t-shirt it's never going to show anyway but if you do use paper um you'll see a, a residue but um if you don't use anything you'll get the residue come through on the back of the t-shirt it's really strange i've ruined many a t-shirts by doing that when i used to forget to put it in so um believe me uh, Take your time and use the correct products and you will save yourself a lot of money. Right, we are done. I'm just going to top me print off, uh, take me press off. Take it out, shake. Oh. Right, now we're coming back over to look at the results. Have you got a clear view, everybody? It's as close as I can get, I think. Let me go a little bit closer. And down. There we go. Right. <clears throat> this is the 7 to 8 t-shirt with my design on. You can see how bright and vibrant that is. It's lovely. It really is nice. This is the cotton blend t-shirt 65 percent cotton no sorry 65 percent polyester 35 percent cotton it's not bad but when you get close up you can see stretch lines in it if you're using bright colours it's very good the results are very good and that is being very truthful 
but the t-shirts go off they're not white it started off being white but you've got to be very careful that you don't end up with a cream t-shirt i think that t-shirt is very good but i actually think the polyester t-shirt is fantastic now I sell my t-shirts for $8.99 each. I spend $1.75 on the t-shirt. The cost of my print works out about 15p. The price of my bag works out 6p. So that costs 1.75 add 0 0.06 add 0.15. That's cost me $1.96. I sell that for $8.99. Look at the profit margins in that. Bags that are available on eBay. They're called clothing bags. <clears throat> the smaller t-shirt is a five to six with my duck design on. Again, it is lovely. Just one thing I didn't do on these was lint roll. You never pulled me up on it. Where do you get your bags from, please? eBay, Lindsay. Everything's eBay or Amazon, I'm afraid. I have got accounts with um, packaging manufacturers and things, but the people on eBay sell these and they undercut everybody, so I sort of buy a thousand at a time. The um, the duck t-shirt is an Easter special. Just the cutest little chick. Again, the colours are lovely. 100% polyester t-shirts. Two seventy five each. We do two to three, three to four. No, we don't. We do two to three. Is it three to four? Five to six, seven to eight, and we probably do nine to ten. You didn't put Teflon between that one either. No, I forgot. But there's a yellow residue on the back, so I won't be doing that again, will I? It's because I'm acting under pressure. So, Lynette, thanks for picking me up on that one. <clears throat> Video is just about to finish. If anything is of interest to you there or you need some more information, um, leave me a message. Put a tag under the video so that I pick it up private message me or if you want some more one-to-one -one help or in a small group remember we do offer the premium group called sub with me there's a few ladies on that that were total beginners they learn an awful lot i post videos of actually doing that for them so that they can see it um <clears throat> there and then it's 15 pound for one month or 40 pounds for the three months uh, any questions that you have when you're designing or sublimating you just post to the premium group and I pick up on it and I if I can't do it I find out how to do it and I do you a video or help you along the way so there's always that um, where do we buy the shirts from what is your site Rachel, the site is dgdesignsuk.com there is links all over my website um, you just press the sublimation supply section and you will see what we have to offer. Um, we're also looking to offer you more products and would like to know your input, what you'd like. Um, we're sourcing baby grows at the moment. Um, so please, that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and I'm going to try and wind this up now. Thanks ladies. Bye bye.